Hello, good morning students. Welcome to e-learning. We are going to the subject economics and today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter 5 here and the chapter 5 name is we find that that is cost of production and concept of revenue. So we are going to learn about this chapter today and we are going to start with the introduction. So let's quickly go with this particular thing. Now in today's lecture as I told we are going to learn about the introduction as well as we are going to know about the various concepts of cost. So these are the two topics which we are going to be covered up today. Let's go with the quickly with the introduction. Now word co cost of production comes. So whenever the word cost of production comes what do you uh, get into the mind as we have already studied about the second chapter basic uh, sorry fundamental concepts and terminology you find that cost of production is nothing but we can say it is the agents or it is the agents which help us to convert the raw material into the we can say uh, finished goods which are able to sell in the market so those particular types of uh, agents like land labor capital and premier are coming under cost of production yes but what does the cost of revenue means cost of revenue means what you find that from how much money we are going to get how much revenue or we can say how much production which we are doing and at how much cost we find that how much revenue can be generated so out of how much production how much output is been getting up and on the output how much profit is been earned that is cost of revenue so all that particular thing we are going to learn today in this chapter so we are just quickly going with the introduction so this uh, exactly this chapter is help us to know how the particular businessman or a firm is able to go with the production as well as we can say sales purposes or at what price he is going to sell or at how much price the particular product is being made in his firm so we are going to learn about the behavior of the firm by understanding the both the concepts that is we can say cost of production as well as cost of sorry concept of revenue so both the particular topics are important point of view and this is a little bit lengthy chapter also compared to the previous chapter so we are going to learn this particular chapter in detail so be uh, proper and watch regularly so we are going with start introduction first so you find that as i told you uh, cost of production as you have learned accounts so you have learned about the debit and credit rule so debit rule means it says that what is it says that in three rules one of the rule is like debit the expenses and credit the incomes so here same way you find that on the debit side we try to record what expenses so here also as there is a change in quantity means how much change in quantity of production we are doing you find that the total cost means the making of any product is also changing up and that cost is for a company is nothing but we can say an expenses and same way when uh, after the product has been produced it has been sold in the market so that becomes the revenue so you find that this cost of productions are recorded on the debit sides whereas same way this revenue has been recorded in the accounts that is on the credit side so this is what you find that the company try to balance his accounts and you find that this cost of production is nothing but expense for them as an operating expense why operating is because they are making the product out of this particular uh, land labor capital entrepreneurs so it is becomes their we can say cost of production or we can say it becomes their operating expenses now not going deep much in the accounts but we are going to know that whenever we are selling you find that income comes so income comes it is on the credit side so this is what is happening but before that this after learning this we are able to uh, understand what is on the debit side and what is on the credit side and what uh, how the cost of uh, cost of production is going on and how much cost is happening up and same way revenue but we will just go with the now what are the concepts are there so concepts of revenue and cost determine the production means it says that अगर हमको कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन पता है कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेवेन्यू पता है तो क्या क्या चीज़ें हमको सीखने मिलेगी सो वी आर गोइंग टू नो दैट व्हाट द प्रोडक्शन और व्हाट द फर्म इज गोइंग टू डू दैट फर्स्ट इज इट हेल्प्स द फर्म टू डिसाइड इट्स कम्यूनिटी सॉरी प्राइस ऑफ इट्स कम्यूनिटी मतलब एक चीज़ अगर हमको ये दोनों पता है फर्म को दोनों पता है द ओनर नोज एवरी और द एंटरप्रीनियर नोज एवरी थिंग वॉट इज दे ही डिसाइड्स द प्राइज ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर कॉमोडिटी सो it helps the firm to go with we have already seen that uh, uh, that particular last price determination so it goes with the demand and supply of their product as well as we find that on the basis of that price has been demand so firm knows that particular thing and on the basis of that on his production 
कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कैसे हो रहा है ये कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कम करेंगे ज़्यादा करेंगे तो सप्लाई या डिमांड पे कैसे अफेक्ट करेंगे एवरीथिंग इज़ बीन डन एंड इट इज़ बीन नोन टू अस एंड इसकी वजह से दे विल एग्जैक्टली फाइंड व्हाट शुड बी द प्राइस फॉर द कमोडिटी सेकेंड यू फाइंड दैट इट प्रोवाइड्स गाइडलाइन टू मैक्सिमाइज द प्रॉफिट येस वेन यू नो एट हाउ मच कॉस्ट द प्रोडक्ट इज बीन प्रोड्यूस एंड यू नो इफ़ यू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन और इफ़ यू इंक्रीज द मोर आउटपुट we can say at how, how much cost you find that the production uh, sorry the cost the redu- cost will be reducing so at how much cost or how much production the cost is getting reduced and after that it is increased so ultimately a simple example let us suppose a ball pen hai a company is making a ball pen and that ball pen is costing nearly for example 5 rupees but his uh, that particular company is doing 1000 production it is getting into 5 rupees so you find that that particular company will sell that particular ball pen at rupees 10 or we can say maybe 12 rupees in the market so ultimately the cost is we can say that is nothing but we can say cost of production that is rupees 5 rupees but after that what all the things are required the packaging the printing the we can say different things which are been added into that and then after it becomes for after when it is ready for sale purpose so there are few things which are been added inside and then after the profit margin is added inside so when cost is been there at 1000 it is only 5 rupees but sometimes if you go with making lot of many things or we can say more production many a times that cost also increases or might decreases so it help us to know at how much minimum or how much exact uh, production we should make the product because sometimes if you go with making 5000 the cost may increase or cost may reduce so it depends upon the material which is been available as well as the time which is been consumed so you find that the producer decides at what should be the production and what and on what production how much profit should be kept in the market after determining the price then thirdly you find that marginal cost so in this chapter we are going to learn about marginal cost what is marginal cost in simple word if i want to say marginal cost is nothing but we can say a uh, additional products uh, or additional unit of production is been done suppose we are doing 1000 if you are producing one more extra unit so what will be the extra cost for it so that is called as what marginal cost so for after 1000 you find one pen you made extra so for one pen how much cost is been done that is known as what marginal cost so that particular help us to know how, how much profit we are going to attain then after you find that concept of marginal cost there are different marginal costs which are help us to understand the behavior of the firm like there are different types of marginal cost so we can say variable marginal cost to uh, fixed marginal cost everything is there so this will help us to know same way again the concept of cost and revenue plays an important role in taking decisions like the firm when they know what is the cost of production and what is the cost of revenue it helps the firm or the owner to take decisions like what amount of factor of much employment is been given means how much labors are been requirement for the production purposes for the sale purposes how much amount of production should be done and how much amount of investment should be done so that we can do production means ultimately kitne paise dalne padenge humko invest karne padenge uske baad kitna production karna padega aur iske production karne ke liye how much amount of labor we require is also been uh, decided or you can say that particular decisions are been taken after knowing the cost of production and cost of revenue of any particular product by the firm agar ek simple concept yaad rakho ki bhai koi bhi company agar uh, if there is the new company which is coming up and they are the manufacturing matlab jo production karne wale hai to wo log pehle sab kuch market mein market mein survey karenge when they survey they try to go pe humko ye kitna cost mein gir raha hai aur uske baad hum kitne paise denge sabko and then after how at what price we will sell to the different wholesalers or we can say retailers and we attain the profit so this particular uh, everything is been noted down survey is been done and then after this particular decisions comes that what amount of factors means kitne land labor practice, uh, capital chahiye labors chahiye kitna production karenge kitna investment chahiye and then after they try to invest in the particular manufacturing koi aise hi directly production karega nahi so every concept every angle is been seen to us then after the next point says the concept of opportunity cost so we are going to learn about opportunity cost ek simple sense mein opportunity cost kya bolenge ki humne ek hamare paas suppose we find that hamare uh, paas hum we are doing a regular work so you are uh, you are growing a particular we can say rise in the 
uh, farm so when you are growing rice in the farm you can grow either uh, apart from that we can say sugar so when you are growing sugar you find that more amount of money can be in same land same piece of land uh, if you are growing sugar it gives you more amount of money so when you shift from the rice to sugar what is happening up you made to yourself to shift from production of rice which you are doing regularly from the uh ne next one that is it is gaining more money that is we can say uh, you have taken the opportunity to grow sugar cane so that becomes the opportunity cost where you find that you left you have taken opportunity of another crop and you left the another that is the main which you are doing that is rice so that particular production has been left so that time it calls as opportunity cost so left out best alternative is been left out that is called as what opportunity cost this particular topic we are going to learn in detail just remember that we are going to learn about the opportunity cost the best alternative cost which is been left out so that we can know ki hum alternative matlab ek hi production mein ek hi jagah pe jaise farmers they have the piece of land now on the piece of land depends on the soil they try to grow many types of crops because in a rotation chalta hai crop rotations so you find that it is they are growing rice they can grow we can say sugar cane they can grow different pulses if they are it has been happening some of the green vegetables they can grow so for a few time in a span of 12 months you find that they try to can, they can grow many types of different crops in a particular year so they try to use their land mult, uh, we can say alternatively so that particular topic comes here that is under the co opportunity cost so this is we are going to learn in detail in the chapter and last one that is nothing we can say the concept of monetary monetary means what money monetary means money so concept of money cost is useful for the give uh, sorry to give the guidelines for the administration of the firm administration matlab jo andar uh, business mein help kar rahe officers hai to un log ko idea aayega they are the managers or we can say owners or entrepreneurs they will help them हेल्प देम कि भाई हमको कितने पैसे चाहिए कितने पैसे हाउ मच मनी वी शुड बी ब्रिंग इन टू द मार्क इन टू द इन कंपनी हाउ मच शुड बी डन फॉर प्रोडक्शन हाउ मच शुड बी डन फॉर सेल परपसेज एवरी थिंग इज शुड बी गिवन सो ये पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट सब कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज इट इज डीलिंग विद द फर्म एंड विद द फर्म इट इज डीलिंग विद द प्रोडक्शन दैट इज कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एज वेल एज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेवेंट दैट्स वाई एवरी थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर अबाउट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट like weekly it help us them to how much production should be done how much uh, cost will be there for the production how much profit ki they can be earn then after marginal cost that is extra unit agar banaye to kitna cost girega kitna profit milega then after different concepts se marginal cost ki then after we are going to learn about we can say decisions what are the decisions taken by the firm itself that is how much employee should be taken up how much production should be done how much investment should be done then the sixth one it says that if you go with the next uh, production say i was i have given example like farm but in the manufacturing firm suppose yahi machine some dusra koi product bana sakte to wo kyu nahi banaye so which gives us more revenue so that particular thing is called as what opportunity cost so you have taken the opportunity that gives maximum benefit and you have left out one of the previous one which you are making up so that becomes your opportunity cost so alternatively uses you are doing about your same लैंड लेबर कैपिटल एंटरप्रीन दूसरा अलग से नहीं सेम लैंड कैपिटल एंटरप्रीन ऐसे कर रहे तो सो दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न लास्टली द मनी कॉन्सेप्ट विच हेल्प्स देम टू डिसाइड अबाउट द वॉट ऑल द थिंग्स शुड बी डन फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ वी कैन से ऑफ द फॉर्म सो ऑल दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस इन चैप्टर सो दिस इज जस्ट एन इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो एंड दिस इज सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स विच आर बीन देयर नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द दैट इज द वेरियस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ cost so here are the various concepts that is we find that there are three types first is real cost second is opportunity cost and third is monetary cost so this three type of cost we are going to learn in detail in the next lecture so i hope you have understood with this all introduction as we go in more in the deep in the chapter you will understand very better because yahan pe sab words naye hain aapke liye ye words hum pure ye jo words hai वो पूरा एक्सप्लेन होगा चैप्टर के अंदर एज वी सी हर वी हैव द रियल कॉस्ट मॉनिटरी कॉस्ट एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फर्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो गो विद दैट प्रिपेयर योर नोट्स इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी जस्ट आस्क मी विद द डिफरेंट वर्ड्स बिकॉज न्यू न्यू वर्ड्स विल कम यू हैव टू राइट द मीनिंग ऑल्सो सो थैंक यू नेक्स्ट क्लास विल कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक